Peripherals lagging when you're using your PC is one of the most annoying things that can ever happen to you. Thankfully, it's not very hard to fix. My name is Adullah, you're watching Gandador Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can fix mouse stutter issues on your Windows PC. So the first thing that you have to do is if you have a wireless mouse like this one right here is that you need to check for interference if you have a microwave or uh, anything that emits radiation like a landline phone or anything like that around your wireless mouse you can experience stutters and stuff so just try using your mouse uh, with a cable and see if that improves the performance if it does chances are you're running into some sort of interference so make sure that you plug the dongle in line of sight of the mouse that there are no wave emitting devices around your wireless mouse as well Once you're done with that, the second step is to actually try and restart your system. Sometimes Windows PCs lag when you leave them running for a really long time and that can cause problems. So all you have to do is press on the start menu, open this up, head over to the power icon and then click on restart. I'm pretty sure you didn't need me to tell you how to restart a PC, but just in case you did, try restarting it. The next thing is to disable USB selective suspend. Now you can do this uh, via the control panel but some modern laptops don't have the USB selective suspend option there. So the easier way to do this is via the device manager. So press windows key plus X to get access to the quick access menu and click on device manager. A window will load up. Now in this find uh, your universal serial bus controllers. So right here double click to expand and then you'll see a bunch of devices here what we're interested in are the root hubs so right click any of the root hubs and then click on properties a new window will pop up head over to power management by the way unless you know what hub your device or your mouse is plugged in you're going to have to do it for all hubs that you see and just uncheck the allow this computer to turn off this device to save power option like just uncheck it it makes sure that there is always power to your USB ports so that uh, if the device goes idle or if it doesn't pull as much power for one period, Windows doesn't automatically lower its power requirements and cause problems. So just disable this, click OK, restart your system and you're pretty much good to go. The error should not come back again. Another thing that you should try is checking your mouse and your USB drivers. Now. Granted, if you have a Logitech mouse or uh, any other mouse that comes with its own software, what you can do is head over to the software. So if you have G-Hub, click on your system tray icon, double click G-Hub icon to fire up the program. Yeah. So uh, sometimes your program might not be up to date. As you can see here, a newer version of G-Hub is available and it's asking me to install it. But also you should check for firmware updates to your mouse. Now, if you have G-Hub, you can just go to your uh, settings menu which is click on this icon right here scroll down go to settings and you will likely see a way of uh, enabling automatic updates right here so this makes sure that your software is always up to date now if you want to change your gear settings head over to this my gear icon click on your mouse and this will show you if there are any firmware updates available if there aren't, if your firmware is up to date and G-Hub doesn't tell you to update anything, you're pretty much good to go on your mouse's front. Now, if you're working with any other device, you can try updating your drivers directly from the device manager. So the first thing that you have to do is press Windows key plus X to open the quick access menu, head over to the device manager. And in here, you will find under mice and other pointing devices, all of the mouse, all of the mice that are connected to your system or have been connected to your system. So um, I know that this is my trackpad driver, but any one of these four is also the device for my mouse, which doesn't show up in the proper name. So just right click, click on update driver. You can update this two ways. So you can either search automatically for drivers and in 99% of the cases, Windows will tell you that you have the best drivers installed. If that doesn't work, go back, click on uh, browse my computer for drivers, click on uh, let me pick from a list of selected drivers and this will give you the legacy or sort of the default drivers that your Windows PC has for a mouse. 
or an HID compliant device. Select mouse in it, click on next and that driver will be installed. You might need to update it afterwards, but uh, this is a good way of resetting your drivers, getting them to the base level where you know it will be working and it won't be a driver issue. The final fix I have for you is to just disable enhanced pointer acceleration. I don't know why you would have it enabled. It makes using your mouse jittery. It gives you incorrect feedback. And if you play FPS games, you will never be able to aim consistently with this feature turned on. So just press the windows key to bring up the start menu and search for mouse settings. Click on this to open your system settings. Now there are a few things that you can see. You can change your mouse pointer speed, the primary button, scroll wheel, uh, nada nada nada. We are going to additional mouse settings here. And in this window, head over to hardware, wheel, pointer options. Yes, head over to pointer options. And in here you will see a checkbox that says enhance pointer precision. Just check this off and you're good to go. Your mouse will feel much more, much better, much lighter to move and your aiming will be much more precise. Like you can see this example for the same range of motion between these two settings, my mouse moves much more quickly, much more uh, lively. So go ahead, click apply, click OK and you're good to go. Your mouse pointer should start working better starting now. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.